Highwell says, hi all, not sure if this is the right group, but does anyone know of a free add-in or similar or a way of using na native features within 365 to have custom subject lines in mail merge emails? Standard seems to be one subject for all emails sent using mail merge. I have found a number of paid for solutions, but they all contain many more features that I need. I just want custom subjects. No need for attachments, CC, BCC, thanks. Okay, so mail merge. You can actually go in and as part of your mail merge and you get your you know, in Word, you'll go in, you'll get yourself started. And when you get yourself started, and you go start doing selector recipients, you type a new list. So you go into there and then you get that new, um, you get your dialogue box pop up. And in there, you've actually got a customized columns um, feature. So in that customized columns feature, you can go in there, you'll get another window, it pops up and you can click on add. And when you click on add, it gives you a blank field that you can work with and you can put in whatever it is you like. So if you go, I wanna bring in subject, you put subject in so that when you've got your columns in Excel, you can actually go in there and then put whatever subject it is you need for a column. And then once you get into your document, put that particular um, field in there, subject, and it will just draw from the Excel document, whatever it is that you want as a custom subject. So um, then you have to look at, is it uh, something that's conditional in Excel? So if it's got this amount of dollars, then pull from this in the list to drag in that as a, you know, as a column header, then you, mm -hmm. that's stuff that you need to do over in Excel to draw the right information so that you can have, is it a Word document? And then that goes over. I think the difficulty is if you're talking about it coming over into Outlook and bringing it into Outlook as a subject header, that's where things start to go a little bit, uh, a little bit more different. Yeah, I've had uh, the only other thing suggestion that I have is possibly using a list, uh, a Microsoft list or SharePoint list, and then using Power Automate to generate the emails might be another option too, because then you can map the dynamic content from the list, which Excel could be a data source, I believe, and then um, into the actual email as it generates it. So that could be another option as well. Yeah. But yeah. I, everything, everything Christy said, because I was like, yes that depending on the size of the list that you're trying to you know usually when you're doing mail merge i mean it's something that you don't want to do manually obviously and it, to push those out so uh you know what are you talking about i mean i would say are you talking about variety where, where every one of them is different um mm -hmm. do you have something that's specific for an individual are the majority of them consistent the same and yet only again I think this is Kirsty with what you said. It's, it's totally valid. If there's certain criteria where there's a different one where you have it in there, um, I mean, I was thinking that you could even on those. Uh, it may be much more efficient if if you went and collected, built a, a table um, in Excel, and then got creative and wrote something unique to those those that person um, to those people, mm -hmm. and then the rest are the same, and then do the mail merge, pull in the fields, you know, populate that, that field yeah. um, versus like, like, I don't know how, if, if all of them are unique, then uh, you want everything automated, except you want to type that in. I mean, I guess technically you could go and build a power app that would have a pop-up as you go to publish it and pops up and you just sit there typing this, the unique subject for each one of them and hit enter to finish it off. I mean, there's a lot of things you could do depending yeah. on what you're trying to achieve, but at, at that point to go and build that, to find somebody that can build that and then go and do that. I mean, I might, if it, you're talking about a couple hundred, it might be faster just to do it manually. Yeah. So the, it Doug depends. Robbins has got an add in. Um, it is a free add-in in terms of the merging tools add-in. You just have to work your way through. I've put a link into our chat on how to do that because you'll have to create that 
that customized subject and then have a look and then start to bring it in and he's got it he's actually got an add-in it's it's free but it also depends on what version of office you're actually using and the version oh, of of outlook yeah. because the outlook knew the monarch does not have malmerge in it as such right. yet so you'd need to make sure that you're using classic to be able to work with the add-in and, and doug's pretty good at keeping up to date on a lot of his um add-ins he's free add-ins and things like that that he's you know been doug's been doing this for you know a really 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 long time um yeah i'm really shocked i you're saying that microsoft is releasing a new product that doesn't have all of the features that people rely on in the older did version? you just put your tongue in cheek christian did that you, is you shocking I, am, I know i'm shocked <laughs> I know so many features not in there yet. Look at they say uh, it's know. going to get there, but Malmode is going to have to be one that you know they'll have to work on pretty fast because it gets yeah, used a that's, lot. Businesses rely on that capability. Yeah, yeah they you do. Know, I know that if folks, we're not going to get into this too. I mean, Microsoft is feeling, I'm sure, pretty hammered. Um, not the hammered, you know, that maybe a little bit, but uh, they're getting hammered by the the MVP community. Yeah. over the uh, no, no. how many features are missing from the new outlook so but uh, that's a, it's a key feature that a lot of small businesses run on that yes right yeah even big businesses there's so many if just even for their internal emails and let alone external so it's a it's a feature that's you know well missed at the yep. moment so especially if they're wanting to use copilot so make sure you're using the right application to be able to use the right this right that at the moment right. yeah there's a bit of confusion around there as to what you can and can't do across which application right now copilot otherwise known as clippy plus clippy <laughs> <laughs> it's clippy's children clippy. copilot it's Clippy it's, Pro. Yeah, that's it. It's the uh, it's it's the grandkids of Clippy. Oh man, hang on, I'm feeling old now. <laughs> Thank you.